We're going to dinner after the movie. Mm. All those who think Andrew was in the wrong, arms raised. All those who think that Gypsy was at fault, arms raised. The majority rules Gypsy is at fault for the fender bender outside the Star's Hollow Garden Center and shall be responsible for all said damages. Ha! You have got to get a courthouse in this town. All right, let's move on to the next order of business. Mm, a very serious matter has been brought to our attention, and I would like to bring to the floor for discussion the possible negative ramifications of the inn owner and diner owner dating. <gasps> That's us! They're talking about us. Now, as you all know, the relationship we have feared for some time has emerged, and we need to carefully consider whether or not we can support this. Oh my God. We're sitting right here. Yes, we see you, Luke, and as a member of the town, you are welcome to voice your opinion. Voice my... I open the floor up for discussion. All right, I'll start. Luke's Diner is a staple in this town. Most of us eat there on a regular basis. The Dragonfly Inn, though newer than Luke's Diner, has also become very important in our community. The commingling of the owners of these two establishments can only set the stage for disaster. What the hell is he talking about? Well, he's not happy with our commingling. Think of the consequences. What will happen when the relationship goes sour, as, let's face it, most of Lorelei's relationships do? Hey! We'll have to choose. Suddenly, you'll either be a Luke or a Lorelei. Or if you're Kirk and you can't make a decision to save your life, you'll be neither. He's probably right. That's bad for the economy, bad for the town. I vote against this. Are they gonna make us break up? I think you're overreacting, Taylor. People, do I have to remind you about Faye Wellington and Art Brush, huh? Do I? Uh, yeah. Faye owned a flower shop and Art owned a candy store and they fell madly in love about 10 years ago. Big! Romance. And for a while, it all worked very synergistically. Flowers and candy seemed like a perfect match. Until Art met Margie. The fudge queen. Ooh, that was bad. The whole town split right down the middle. Suddenly, you could buy flowers or you could buy candy. Valentine's Day was a nightmare. Far for the course for me. Eventually, the hostility forced Art to move. Faye never married. She stopped making candy. It was very sad. And those storefronts were empty for a year. No one wanted to be there. God. This sounds terrible. Maybe they have a point. No, they don't have a point. Well, what if something uh, happens? This is crazy. I don't believe for one minute that the breakup of Faye Wellington and Art Brush affected the economy of this town one bit. Well, lucky for you, I brought charts. You have charts concerning the romance of two people who used to live here 10 years ago. We think Faye still lives in the caves above the Clancy's Mill. We can't prove it, but every so often, we hear Delta Dawn playing over and over. Hello? Your father came home at 8.30. Like he went inside now. the pool house for five minutes, and then he got back in his car and he drove away again. Mom, this is really not a good time. He's traipsing all over the place at all hours of the night. Uh -huh. Where are you? So I'm very far away. Park Road. Park Road? Why? I think that map's a little off. Luke would definitely take the Northwest Block, because it's near the fishing hole. OK, that's it. I've heard enough. This is my relationship. Mine. Not yours, not yours, not yours. Yours, but not yours. Mine and hers, but not yours. There's not going to be any more debating about whether or not it's a good idea if we're in a relationship, because we're in a relationship. Show them the horoscope. But in the event of a breakup, there's not going to be a breakup. Well, isn't he the optimistic fellow? Fine. In case of a breakup, I'll move. I'll close up Luke's diner. I'll go far, far away, and that way you won't have to choose, OK? Every section in town can be pink. Can we have your word on that? You can have my word and a couple of middle fingers on that, Taylor. Get that down. We have his word. And uh, leave out the part about the fingers. All right, people. It seems that the issue of Gilmore and Danes versus Stars Hollow has been resolved. See you all next week when everyone gets fingerprinted for the government. Meeting adjourned. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You still in? You bet I am. Oh my god. What? Well, what's the matter? Hello? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For what? Rory. Grandma. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, what is going on here? I have to hang up now. Have I mentioned I'm sorry? Bye. Wow, this is a surprise. <laughs>